Number 22. Which equation can be represented by the graph shown below? So, they give us a graph. They want to know which of these answer choices would match what this graph is. Um, we're not going to know based on these answer choices themselves. What we need to do is to figure out what the slope-intercept form of this would be. So if I can figure out what the slope is, which is my m, and I can figure out what my b is, which is my y-intercept, then I can figure out what the equation should be when I write it in slope-intercept form. So let's first find the b, begin with the b, move with the m. So the b is always the easiest because you just go to the y-axis, you look for that center, that point where it crosses the y-axis, right here. This is my, that's my y-intercept, 2. So my y-intercept is 0, 2. My slope. <clears throat> so for the slope, I need to be able to move from one point to the next. So here's one point, and I want to move to another point. And when we move to the next point, we want to make sure that we are moving to um, a point that is right at the cross-sections. So I'm looking closely here. I don't see any clean points where it's right at the cross-section. Uh, you know what? The best point that looks like it'll work. Some of these look like it could be it, but this looks like the best one to me. So I'm going to go from this point to this point and see what my slope is. Remember, slope is rise over run. So I'm looking for a rise over run. I already know that this slope is, uh, or the line is falling down, so the slope is going to be a negative. And then let's see how much I go down. I go down one, two, three, over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So down three, over eight. Down three, over eight. So since I know my m and my b, I should be able to plug that into my equation here. And I get y equals negative 3 eighths x plus 2. All right. So I'm looking for that as one of my answer choices. Um, this is one of those problems where basically you have to just take all your answer choices and solve them all for y. So hopefully we get lucky and it's one of the first ones. Let's try the first one, which is f. First thing I need to do is I need to move everything over to the right side except for my Y term. So I'm going to keep the Y term alone. Everything needs to move over. So I'm going to first move over my number term. Minus 16. Minus 16. So now I get negative 3X plus 8Y equals negative 16. Then I'm going to add 3X. Add 3X. So I get 8Y equals negative 16 plus 3x. <clears throat> Finally, divide everything by 8. So 8, 8, 8. Your y equals negative 2 plus 3 over 8x. Well, it looks close. It has all the right numbers there, but I need a positive 2 and a negative 3 eighths. This has a negative 2 and a positive 3 eighths. So it didn't work out. So it's not f. Let's try again. Go to g. 3x minus 8y plus 16 equals 0. We're going to go through the same exact process. Our goal is to get the y term all by itself. So first thing, minus 16. Minus 16. We get 3x minus 8y equals, on the right side, negative 16. Still need the y term by itself, so minus 3x, minus 3x, I get negative 8y, equal to negative 16 minus 3x. <clears throat> Finally, divide everything by negative 8. Divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8. I get y equal to a negative 16 divided by negative 8 gives me a positive 2. And then a negative divided by a negative gives me a positive. Can't reduce 3 over 8, so leave it as 3 over 8x. Didn't work. 
I needed a positive 2 for my y-intercept and I needed a negative slope. I did get my positive 2, but I didn't get my negative slope, so that didn't work. Alright, so let me erase this so you can see the next problems. But we're going to do h and then j. So let's do j, h, negative 3x minus 8y minus 16 equals 0. Same thing, get that negative 8y all by itself. So add 16, add 16, negative 3x minus 8y equals positive 16. Now we got to move our negative 3x, so add 3x, add 3x, negative 8y equals 16 plus 3x. Divide everything by negative 8. y equals a positive divided by a negative, a positive divided by a negative, I get a negative 2. Over here, a positive divided by a negative, I get a negative 3 eighths x. <clears throat> so again, these are all really close, but I need to have the right signs. My slope is correct, it's a negative, but my y-intercept should be a positive 2, and I end up with a negative 2. So it should be that last one, but let's check it. 3x plus 8y minus 16 equals 0. I want to get the 8y all by itself. So move the 16. 3x plus 8y equals 16. Move the 3x, subtract 3x, subtract 3x. 8y equals 16 minus 3x. Divide by 8. On the left side, I get a y equal to positive 16 divided by positive 8 gives me 2. A negative 3 divided by positive 8 gives me negative 3 eighths x. And that is what I needed to get. I needed a positive 2 right here, positive 2. And then I needed a negative 3 eighths x. That's what I got. I got a negative 3 eighths x. So this is the right answer. And we can also double check this on the calculator. We go to our calculator. If we take this, y equals 2 minus 3 eighths x, plug it in. <clears throat> 2 minus 3 eighths x, graph it. And then check your graph with the graph up there. Same exact graph. 